back to my channel. My name is Justin. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to lighten your underarms. It's one of the issues that a lot of girls have, especially in the summer, when you're wearing all these um, cute little tank tops and you got to show your underarms and it just it's dark and sometimes you just feel embarrassed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the products that I use to lighten my underarms. They have been, um, they got lighter um, drastically. They used to be so dark and I would hate it and I um, ended up doing a bunch of research and tried a bunch of products to basically bring to you guys what worked to get your underarms so much lighter. Yeah, I'm going to do a mask that I would do under my arms to kind of get it lighter um, throughout the um, throughout the week. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on my following video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you kind of the process as what I would do um, to take care of my underarms because it's one of the areas that a lot of people don't really take the time or think it's necessary to do all these steps but for me this is what I did and what light and what lightened my underarms and this will work. So I'm going to so go ahead tuned. and start um, a little bit of a backstory. I used to shave all the time. It would be um, would shave at night time and then I would shave in the morning because I just didn't like any hair at all. I'm very light skinned and my hair is really dark so any hair that would grow out it would look like a shadow and anyone that has underarms knows what I'm talking about. So I did the shaving, I did the guy shape, uh, the guy razor, and sometimes it would work, but it would give me an irritation. So then I tried waxing. I went to Sally's, got the kit, got the machine, did the whole nine, and it would work, but it would leave my skin really red and just um, rash. And then every now and then I would get ingrowns, and those are such a um, hassle. So I ended up investing on an epilator. If you guys don't know what an epilator is, this is a Remington. I got this at Walmart for about $25. $25 and um, what's it called it's actually cheaper online but they, Walmart just the price match so you could get this like 25 30 bucks so basically what it is it's a, it, it looks like an electrical razor like a men's electrical razor but this is for women it has 40 different um, 40 different tweezers you connect it and you basically just run it like you would a men's electrical razor just like a woman's electrical razor you kind of just run it a few times up and down and if you just kind of hold the skin and kind of do it like that, then um, it pulls them from the root, which is perfect because I probably epilate once a week before I would shave twice a day because I would take a shower in the morning and then one at night. And I just, I like the baby smooth skin. That's, that's my thing. I don't like hair. I don't like to feel stubble. It's just, I shave twice a day. It's just, it's just me. So this is perfect because it doesn't, um, you don't shave as much and actually pulls the hair from the root so it gets rid of that shadow that you do create when the hair is growing under your skin and it's just super dark in your light skin it also happens if you have really dark skin and the hair is just really dark or thick it does show like you didn't shave even though you did so you basically um i would use this do it like one or two minutes each armpit it would pull it from the root do this once a week and um Let's Once I finish with this, the shower, do whatnot, I would exfoliate. So there's two different options you could do. I exfoliate both ways. When I get in the shower, do the whole nine. I use the San Eves Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. It says prevents blemishes and minimizes pores. Acetic acid. Um, I use this for my face. It's basically cleared up my skin. I haven't had any breakouts, but I actually get this. It's like about four bucks at Walmart. It's an exfoliant for your face, but I actually it's use it for my underarm. It smells really good. Doesn't have a weird scent or anything. I just get the big jar because you get more for your money. And I basically just get a little bit, rub it on my hands, and then start rubbing it in circular motions under my arms, on both arms, to exfoliate them. Once I deep condition and do the mask and do the whole nine on my hair, then I use um, this little body scrub. It's called Exfoliating Body Scrub. It's called the Spa Splendor. I got this at Walmart too. I used to get these at Sally's. They were like two or three bucks per Super if you get them at Walmart, it's basically just a little sponge that's a little bit more harsher than a, um, it's more of a deeper exfoliate than the loofahs that you would normally do. So normally, um, the reason why you get dark underarm is because you have deodorant buildup where you have dead skin cells that make it look like you have um, darker armpits when you don't. So exfoliating it and it's a huge part of getting into the process of getting your underarms lighter. So like I said, if you guys don't want to use this uh, a little bit of a rougher exfoliate, you guys could use the regular scrub that you guys use for your face scrub if it's harsh enough or a deep exfoliate I mean. You use this under your arms once I do this, then I do this once I do my whole body. I, I exfoliate my body twice a day 
just to get all the dead skin cells and get really nice baby but smooth skin. So like I said, I exfoliate. Once I do that, I get out of the shower and then I use this what's called the L'Oreal Hydro Fresh Toner. It's refresh and a splash and the claims are better hydroxide gently sweeps away dull tire skin. Um, Pro Vitamin B5 helps protect against moisture loss which is what happens when you exfoliate so often and since you are plucking out the hair from your root. So you want to make sure you keep that area more um, moisturized just like you would on your regular other skin and it says reveal smoother brighter complexion. It has basically ingredients to leave skin soft and supple. It doesn't burn, it's alcohol free, you basically just get a cotton swab, rub it under your armpits once it dries. Then since I did exfoliate that particular night, I used the Bikini Zone Medicated After Shave Gel. It says use after um, epilating, waxing, and shaving. I get this at Walmart as well. And basically when you epilate, your skin does get um, a little bit red, not as red as when you wax. And what happens once I do that, um, since my body or my armpits are already used to it, it doesn't even get red anymore. It just um, since I've been using that, I don't get as much hair as I do. I probably get like five or ten hairs compared to like the whole underarm. So it's like you get less hair, it's um, not as thick, and it doesn't come out as often as it would normally do. So obviously, the longer you use an epilator or the longer you wax, or um, for future I'll probably do the laser treatments, um, the more you use it, the lesser it comes out. So I put this after I get, once this dries, and then I put this, this is the night I epilate, so I just leave this on overnight, and then in the morning I just kind of wash it off and then put deodorant. If it's one of those days that I didn't epilate and it's just like a regular day, I don't put deodorant at night. I give my armpits a rest before I would put deodorant in the morning and at night. It was just a habit, not so much of the body odor or sweat, because I don't sweat at all. Like if I sweat, it's rare. So it was just like a habit, just kind of like how I grew up. Oh, you put deodorant morning, night, whatever. So this is what I use the nights that I do epilate just to give my arms um, some soothing comfort. So I just put this at night. I just sleep on it. It doesn't have an odor. It's a clear gel. And then I just wash it at, um, in the morning before the I actually ended up switching because I used to use Secret. And it was one of the main reasons, too, that my armpits were so dark because my skin is so sensitive. But the aluminum and the deodorants actually made them darker because it was just irritating. High concentration of aluminum. strong percentage on the deodorants. And since I didn't really sweat or anything, it was just too much for my skin. And it was just didn't work. So I ended up switching. I go between these two. It's the Degree Motion Sense. It's, this is called Sexy Intrigue. It's an invisible solid or a switch up between my um, Dove Advanced Care. This is so good for your underarms. It moisturizes them. It leaves them soft. You don't get stubble. You don't get redness or rash. So if your armpits are sensitive, which you, since you are going to lighten them, they are going to get a little bit sensitive. So I recommend you trying Dove. If you do sweat or you kind of get B.O. with this, um, I don't when I use it, but some people need a little bit stronger. I would recommend the degree. It has the same concentration um, or percentage of the aluminum, but for some reason the secret one, since it's so perfumey, it irritates the skin. It just makes it that much darker. So try these two if you guys um, are going to do the whole process of lighten, lightening your underarms. So that would be what I do in the morning. If it's one of those days that um, I exfoliated one or two days, I exfoliate. If it's one of those days that I didn't ex epilate and it's just like a regular day, after I take out a shower, I put this on under my underarms and then I do two things. Um, I basically like, um, I put this cream probably every other day. It's the Pons Clarin B3. It says um, dark spot correcting cream with vitamin B3 and C. It's basically a clear, um, it removes dark marks from your face. I ended up using it under my underarms. I lighten them. I use this every other day because it is strong and it does leave your skin kind of sensitive. So I don't do this all the time. Every now and then when they start to get dark, I use this. But you want to use this frequent when you are going through the whole process. So I put this under my armpits and just, just sleep on it when I wake up in the morning. They're so light and it's just, this works so bomb. It's like $4, 4 to $5 at Walmart. You could just use this. This is basically this exfoliating changing of deodorant and the epilating just removing it from the root just got in them so light I wish I would have found this way sooner back in high school and or someone would have told me this um, I ended up using it for my face because every now and then when I do get a breakout it does leave a little mark so I just pop this in the little mark and it just fades with them today so it's it's really good um, but it does leave your skin sensitive so you want to try this every other few days or whatever or based on whatever your skin could handle so when I am, I'm not lightening them or putting the 
the the cream, the medicated cream under my armpits. I just used um, good old cocoa butter conditioning body lotion. And I basically just use this to kind of just soothe my underarms from the epilating, um, from getting any rash or anything, and then from the lightening process. So I use this um, in between the lightening, which is, I could, it's not a bleach, but it does lighten your skin drastically. So this, I just use it kind of in between to soothe it. And then this I would use um, a few times a week. And then this for sure every night. And then... Like I said, the other products that I did show you. So that has drastically reduced the darkness under my arms. Um, it's been probably a few weeks, if not a few months, that I have done this process and I just lightened them. I was able to notice a difference drastically. Like I said, that's like why I said, actually, um, the products that I did use that drastically lightened my underarms. And that's what worked for me. So like I said, um, everyone's results would be different. But this is what I use to basically exfoliate, remove the hair lighten them and then kind of just soothe it with some good old cocoa butter and then when I use this um, at night and just let it sit on my skin when I wake up in the morning my underarms are so smooth like I go like this it's just it just feels like baby oil on your skin like it's weird how when you wake up in the morning your armpits are so smooth which it might be weird to some people but for me I like to maintain everything and just to make sure everything's tip-top shape everything's soft and smooth no stubble no hair nothing so that's just me this is the products that worked um and i just wish i would have known this 10 years ago but now like i said after trial and error and trying a bunch of products and then just um trying different things on me my skin's very sensitive and i break out in a rash easily so if this works for me and your skin's not sensitive that they're gonna be awesome for you guys um so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and leave a natural mask that you can use on your your underarms that's going to be my next video coming up so make sure you guys stay tuned for that and if you guys have any questions or comments or let me know um in your future videos down below go ahead and